Okay, what we're going to do in this tutorial is we are going to look at uh, using Python to create a graphical user interface. Now, if you're used to using uh, graphical user interfaces in any sort of programming language such as VB, you know how easy it is. But with Python, it's a little bit more tricky. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to use something called tkinter. So we're going to start off by saying import tkinter. Now, the reason for using this um, if you are looking to do any sort of exam work, so just as a really quick example, now if you're on a WJC board, EDUCAS, OCR, sometimes they don't like you using other libraries. Uh, the reason being is when you send your work off to the examiner, you have to remember to add those extra libraries in, whereas TK Inter comes installed by default. So what we've got here now, I'm just doing import TK Inter. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make a form. So I'm going to say master, this is the name of my form, equals tkinter dot capital T lowercase k. And I've got open close brackets. And what I'm then going to do is set the size of it. So I'm going to say master dot geometry. And then we're going to open brackets, open uh, speech marks or quotation marks, 300x300. And close it. Now, what you'll find is when we run this program, hopefully we'll have a form appear like so. And this is a very basic form, we haven't got anything on it because we haven't told uh, Python to put anything else on it. But you can see at the start, it's sizable, it's scalable, we can move it around, but we've set the size there to 300 by 300. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to add to this program, so we're going to add a few more. Things. So the first thing I'm going to add is a label. So I'm going to say label 1 equals tkinter. So I'm making reference to my tkinter that I just imported. Dot label, capital L for label. And then we're going to tell it where to go. So master. And then what we're going to do is give it some text. So text equals uh, hello world. Very simple. So you can see now at the moment we've got label 1. Um, then we get in that so whatever we put here essentially Python works a little bit backwards So whatever's here, we're going to label one So hello world is actually going to go and be label one now when I play this It's not actually going to do anything and the reason for it is quite simple If you look here now, it's built the form even though we've got that line of code in it hasn't done anything with it We have to pack it or we have to put it somewhere So I'm going to put label one dot pack open close brackets and the reason for this is Python is very explicit and it likes to know where to put things. Now you can do lots of different things with this pack. You can put it north, south, left, right. We can do whatever we want with it. But I'm just going to use the pack uh, command for sort of this tutorial and I'll show other things later on. But you can see here it's put it in the top center, which is great. Now we're going to add other things in. The next thing I'm going to add is a text box. So I'm going to say text box 1 equals tkinter, so again we're referencing tkinter dot entry and then what we're going to do is we're going to open bracket master now I don't want any text to be in this by default I just want it to be um, sort of blank so I'm leaving it as blank um, then what we have to do is we have to say text box one dot pack open close brackets and you can see there now when we play this program it should come up with label and a text box. We can type whatever we want into this text box here. Now the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a button in. Okay, so I'm going to say button 1 equals and then what we're going to do is we're going to say tkinter dot button and then we're going to say master comma text and then we're going to say uh, enter and then again, we're going to have to pack this button. So button one dot pack. Now, when we play this form now, what will happen? I'll play this program rather. Is we now have hello world, a text box, and we've got a button. Now we can click this button all we want, and as you can see, it's actually not doing anything. The reason being, we haven't told it to do anything. So what we're going to do is in here now. Just made a quick bit of space. We're going to run a program, okay? So I'm going to make a, a function and I'm going to say def, uh, we're going to call this main, open close bracket, and 
what we're going to do is we're just going to get a variable. Right, so I'm going to make a variable called name. And what we're going to do is we're going to take whatever gets put into text box one. So I'm going to say name equals and then text box one dot get. Okay, now this is really, really straightforward. All right, you've got to open close brackets and then close them again. And um, what we're going to do is I'm just going to say print and then name. So Essentially, we're going to get whatever's in text box one, hold it in the variable called name, and then we're going to print this. Now, what we've got to do is modify this button a little bit. So we can see we've got button one equals tk enter dot button, master text enter. And then what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to put a comma in and then command equals main. Okay. So when I play this now, I've got my text box, I've got my label, i got everything here, so I'm going to put uh, Dave and then press enter. And what we have now is, look, Dave has come and that's what's basically happening. So this program is all it's doing is saying, hello world, and it says, Dave, enter, done. Okay, now we can do a lot more with this. So we could, in essence, instead of having the output in the shell, we could have a message box appearing as an example. Now to do that, we need to import other things. So I'm going to say from TK into import message box. And what this is going to do is we're now using the TK into library, but we're using the message box part of it. Now this doesn't need a tremendous amount of modification. So all we're going to do is we're going to change this function instead of printing name. What we're going to do is we're going to say tk enter and then what we're going to do is dot message box dot show info and then open our brackets here and then I'm not going to give the message box a name yet so I'm just going to leave this blank and you'll see why in a moment and then what we're going to do is we're going to tell it which variable to use. So, just as a quick recap, we're going to get whatever's in text box one, store it as a variable called name, and then what we're doing is we're transferring that variable down here to name, and then we're basically using a message box. So when we play this now, here's my little program. So I had a world, again, we're going to put Dave in, and then when I press enter, Dave comes up as a message box. So that's very, very, very simple. It's a nice, easy way to do certain things within Python. Now, if I just close this and stop it running, the open close bracket, the open close speech marks here were for the title of the message box. So, say for example, I wanted to do uh, alert. I could say just alert there. Now, when I run the program, click OK. one and then we're going to go Dave again Dave and you can see now this the name of this message box is called alert now these message boxes will look ever so slightly different depending on if you're on pipe if you're on Mac or if you're on Windows Linux but they do the same thing the code will work in exactly the same way so this is just a really quick tutorial just to show you how to add labels text box and buttons onto one form and to actually run it as part of a function and to get inputs and outputs on there uh, in my next tutorial I'll show you how to take files and write them into like a text file or some sort of database and we'll look at doing other things with uh, a form in Python. Hopefully you found it of use. If you have, please leave me a comment below.